Hey, this is Dr. Fast here. I will be doing several videos on showing you how to use a multimeter. And the reason I thought about doing these videos is because I think it's really handy to know how to use these test equipment to help you uh, troubleshoot uh, some basic circuits. And also, if you're doing car installs, you'll be using one of these uh, to help you check voltages, check for ground. And they're not complicated, so that's why I want to kind of give you an idea how to use these. Now in front of me, I have four different type of multimeters. They're made by different companies, but basically they all do the same thing. The price do range, but once you learn how to use one of these, then you'll be able to use it on the other uh, brand or different make. As you see here on the left side, the Fluke 87, this one I got 14, 15 years ago and I think back then it retailed for over $400. Uh, this is a very good meter and Fluke has been around for a long time making test equipment. And over here is a Beckman uh, multimeter. I bought this when I was in college. And this one does your basic volt ohm uh, amp measurement but it does also have measurement for capacitors and also transistors. These two on the right are your very economical Harbor Freight multimeter. They run from $10 to $20. But again, the basic function between all these are the same. On each of these multimeter, you will find a rotary knob. And what this allows you to do is to select the type of measurement you want to do. So on this one here, for example, right now is on the voltage V. The flat line represents DC direct current. If I switch this to V with the sine wave, that sine wave tells you that it's measuring AC voltage. If I select this to the ohm measurement, it will allow me to test the continuity or the resistance in the circuit. Over here, A is for amp to allow you to measure the current on a circuit. Over here on this multimeter is sectioned off so this section is voltage you select DC and AC. Over here this is for frequency so it can measure frequency also. Down here is the resistance measurement the ohm. Over here capacitance of capacitors. This section is for amp currents. And on this one here, this section is DC. This section is ohm resistance. Over here is DC amp current. Up here is AC voltage. So even though the layout is different, between different manufacturers, the functionality as you can see are all very similar. This Fluke 87 is what they call auto ranging and the auto ranging is very convenient because once you select, let's say if I select one of the measurement which is DC voltage, it will automatically move the decimal points as the voltage goes up. Whereas on this one, if I want to measure the voltage, I have to tell the multimeter if it's up to 20 volts or up to 200 volts or even up to 1000 volt DC. And every time I move this knob, it moves the decimal point. So on this one, I don't have to do that. So if you want to measure, say, DC voltage, then what you want to do is take your black probe and plug it into common COM and then for the positive take the red probe and plug it into V V for voltage once these are plugged in and you set this to V with a flat line flat line represents DC voltage then this is ready to measure DC voltage. And on this one, same thing, take your black probe, 
plug into common, C-O-M, this is your negative. Red is your positive, and you see is V. Plug into here. Now, on this multimeter, there's actually a selector switch. DC or AC. So if I was to switch this down to AC, then it's ready to measure AC voltage. Switches back to DC, then it measures DC voltage. While I'm talking about the DC voltage measurement, I want to quickly talk about test lights. A lot of people who do automotive work uh, tend to have a test light that uses a little incandescent bulb inside. And there's one probe at the end, and it basically test if there's any voltage going through that test light and it lights up that bulb. I highly don't recommend you using one of those because if you were to use a test light on any type of sensitive electronics in a vehicle, the test light can draw a lot of current. It's a light bulb so it can draw a lot of current and if you have some sensitive electronics it can do a lot of damage to the electronic itself. The first test I'm going to show you is measuring your regular household AC voltage. Now everybody heard of the AC outlet having 120 volt and in Europe and in some uh, Asian country is 240 volt. So what does that really mean? And if I take a multimeter and I set this to AC because I'm measuring AC out of the house is AC alternating current. Put this into AC now this one is not auto ranging so I have to tell it what scale needs to be and right now it's on 20, well 20 is too low for the 120 volt so I need to set this to 200 volt so it's good up to 200 volt and then on this one here I'll set this to over here to the AC voltage. I'm going to plug my probe into this outlet here and you can see that is now measuring 118 volt AC. Right up here it says AC. And then measure this over here. Hundred and eighteen point one. This multimeter is not auto ranging. So what would happen if I accidentally set it to the wrong setting? Say to the twenty volt AC measurement. It'll give me a 1. Whenever you see that, it means that you've reached the maximum reading. You need to switch this over to the next higher scale, and then it'll read the voltage. The next test I will show you is testing some regular household batteries. I have a 9 volt, a D cell, a couple of AAA batteries, three of them in series. And I swapped out the other multimeter with this Harbor Freight because throughout these videos I want to give you an idea the different brands will basically give you the same type of function. So, so here I've set this to DC volt, DCV. Now over here is ACV for AC voltage. But these batteries are DC. So I'm going to set this to DC voltage. And I know that these are not 20 volt. It's below that. So I've set this up to 20 volt range and on the fluke as I mentioned it's auto ranging it's set to voltage with a flat line for DC so let me first grab the Harbor Freight and what I'll do is that I will put one on the battery terminal and then the other one over here and you can see it measures 10.12 volt DC and if you wonder well what happened if I reverse a polarity well if you reverse a polarity it'll give you a negative number. Same thing for this D cell. This end on the left is negative, on the right is positive, 1.62 volt. And over here, this is three AAA batteries in series. So it's 1.5 volt times three. And let's see what reading it gives us, 4.55. The next thing I'll show you is using a multimeter to test the resistance of a circuit. So where you want to test this is maybe in a car if you want to verify to make sure the ground is good. So from the front of the vehicle where the battery negative terminal is, you might be checking a ground wire at the back of the vehicle. 
so you want to make sure that the ground is good all the way from the front to the back and this can be similar to a wire here so one end could be the front of the vehicle and the other end could be the back of the vehicle and if there's any break along this wire from the front to the back then you can check with a multimeter to find out if there is a problem with the continuity and also you can use the same test to test whether a fuse is good or the actual resistance of a circuit so here I have a 1k ohm resistor what you want to do first is on a multimeter change this to this symbol here that is the ohm or the resistance of a circuit and over here on this multimeter you can set this to the appropriate range that you need so grab the probe from the multimeter and let's first test the wire so again we're simulating say this wire is 20 feet long from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back and you want to make sure it's grounded properly so we will test this wire and you can see the reading goes to zero even though it says 000 0.3 you pretty much assume that's a zero uh, ohm resistance okay and I can take this probe here from this multimeter do the same test and you can see it goes to 0, 0.00 or take this fuse you can check the fuse to make sure there's good continuity from one blade to the other and you can see on this multimeter that it's good next is I'll use this 1k ohm resistor to measure the resistance through this resistor as you can see it's showing 1.02 now this is in a 20k range so I know this 1.02 is kilo ohm. Another test that a multimeter can do is to measure the current on a circuit. So to measure the current draw on a circuit, you first need to set the multimeter to the A. And on this multimeter is the uh, DCA here. And you want to make sure you pay attention to the rating. Uh, most of these multimeters will tell you 10 amp maximum is fused so this higher end uh, multimeter if you exceed the 10 amp it will blow the fuse inside and you can replace it on these cheaper ones uh, probably there might not be a fuse in there so if you exceed the 10 amp maximum current uh, it will probably just fry the circuit board inside so the next thing you need to do is move this probe over to the A so take the positive probe and move it over to the A over here you move this over to this one here that measures amp. To show you how to use a multimeter to measure current draw, I've rigged up this very basic electronic circuit and it kind of simulates what you would find in a vehicle actually because on the left side the red and the black wire you see here will be coming from your battery, the power source, and the red wire here, if you follow it, it goes to a fuse here and then it goes to a switch. This can be your headlight switch let's say. It feeds the voltage out to these two bulbs here simulating say a headlight or fog light and then the current will come back on the negative and return back to the negative of your power source so if I was to turn on this circuit the power will flow through the fuse through the switch and the two lights turn on to measure the current draw on this circuit you must insert this multimeter in series with this circuit so you will have to interrupt this circuit so you can probe in between and one easy way I can do here is to remove the fuse and once I remove it of course there's no current flow allowed through the bulbs and it's turned off set your multimeter to the amp measurement also plug your probe in the proper port and then take your positive connect it to where the power is coming in from and then the other probe stick it in to the other side of that fuse so now the power is going through this probe here 
through the multimeter, come back out on the other probe, completes the circuit. And it's telling you it's measuring 566 milliamp. And that's how you use a multimeter to check the current draw on a circuit. So this video will give you a quick overview of what a multimeter can measure and test. I will be doing a couple of more videos on testing the voltage on a vehicle and also the uh, resistance or the continuity on a vehicle say for checking ground so anyways I hope you find this video helpful and if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you like the video please subscribe thank you for watching